Today's story is "The Mermaid and the Shoe" by K. G. Campbell. King Neptune had fifty daughters. Some might call them mermaids. They were his pride and joy. Cleo, the king would boast, is a gifted gardener. Thetis is a fantastic fish trainer. Calypso sings with silvery moonlight in her voice. Each princess, it seemed, was more remarkable than the last, except Minnow. Minnow's garden was limp and sparse. Fish did not follow her instructions. In her voice, there was no light of any kind. She did, however, ask many, many questions. Why? She asked Cleo. Don't crabs have fins? Where? She asked Thetis. Do bubbles go? What? She asked Calypso. Lies beyond the kingdom. Stop asking useless questions, Calypso replied, and be remarkable like the rest of us. What are you even here for? Minnow wasn't sure. Useless, hissed Calypso. For sisters can be mean that way. And quietly, Minnow slipped away to float alone. Where the current was warm and pleasant. There, one day, something new drifted into Minnow's life. She couldn't imagine what it was for, but it was the loveliest thing she'd ever seen. What is this? Minnow asked Cleo. Perhaps, said her sister, it's a hat. But the thing was a poor fit, and not at all flattering. What is this? She asked Thetis. Perhaps said her sister, "It's a jewel box." But the thing was wobbly and spilled pearls all over Minnow's grotto. What is this? She asked Calypso. Questions, questions! Snapped her sister. It's junk, useless, like you. This thing, insisted Minnow, was made with care. It has a purpose, and I will discover it. So off she set into the warm current, from whence the thing had come. In the forest, she passed an octopus. What is this? She asked it, but the octopus just shrugged. In the shallows, she happened upon a whale. What is this? She asked it. I swallowed one of those once, said the whale. Yuck! Near the surface, she passed some crabs. What is this? She asked them. Don't eat us! Shrieked the startled crabs, scuttling onto the rocky shore. Aha! Thought Minnow, who wasn't even hungry. That's why they don't have fins. But she was running out of creatures to question. She had arrived at the edge of the kingdom, where bubbles burst and the above place began. What a wondrous world! Gasped Minnow, eyes wide as sand dollars. Overhead were curious fish that made an awful racket. The coral was dull like seaweed, and the seaweed was brilliant like coral. Nearby stood a huge shell with a door, but there was nothing like the lovely thing, and no one to tell her what it was for. Minnow could journey no farther. Disappointed, 
she turned to leave. I'm afraid, she told the thing. We are useless after all. Suddenly, an odd creature burst from the shell. It was half mermaid, but with two octopus legs, and on those legs was a pair of the lovely things. Don't get your shoes wet! Yelled a voice from the door. So the landmaid removed them. And Minnow finally knew exactly what the lovely things were for. Concealed within was another set of hands, but so ugly, she gasped, so knobbly and gnarled and smelly. Bursting with news, Minnow returned home as fast as her tail could carry her. Excitedly, she urged the entire court to gather round to listen. She told them why crabs don't have fins. She told them of the place beyond the kingdom, where the bubbles went. She told them of the noisy fish and giant shell homes. She told them of the landmaid and of shoes and the monstrous leg hands they were made to hide. When she was done, Calypso rolled her eyes. What? She scoffed. A useless story. But King Neptune beamed and hugged his smallest child. My minnow, he boasted to the entire kingdom, is a daring explorer. And everyone except Calypso clapped their hands, fins, and tentacles in agreement. Will you tell us more? They cried. That, said Minnow, is what I'm here for. And she recounted her adventures until the starfish came out, and the anemones fell asleep. Thanks for watching Storytime with Miss Rose. If you liked the video, make sure to subscribe and click the notification bell for more videos. Don't forget to hit the like button and leave a comment down below. If you enjoyed the book, there's a link to purchase in the description below. Thank you.